In a world where the impossible is just another day, nestled between the towering pines of the Whispering Woods, there lived a young boy named Misha. Misha was an adventurous 12-year-old with a heart full of curiosity and a mind always dreaming of the extraordinary. His best friend was not another child, but a plush bear named Feta, whose button eyes seemed to twinkle with secrets of their own. One breezy autumn afternoon, as golden leaves danced in the crisp air, Misha stumbled upon an ancient, weathered book hidden beneath a pile of leaves in his backyard. The cover was embossed with swirling symbols that shimmered in the sunlight, hinting at the magic contained within its pages. Intrigued, Misha brushed off the leaves and carried the book inside, eager to unravel its mysteries. As Misha opened the book, a soft glow enveloped the room, and the air was filled with a sweet, melodious hum. The words on the pages seemed to leap out, swirling around Misha and Peta like a gentle whirlwind. Suddenly, Peta blinked his button eyes and stretched his plushy limbs, coming to life with a delightful giggle. Misha, my friend! Peta exclaimed, his voice warm and cheerful. This book is enchanted. It holds the power to bring toys to life and take us on adventures beyond our wildest dreams. With a sense of wonder and excitement, Misha and Peta decided to explore the possibilities of their newfound magic. They gathered all of Misha's toys, an eclectic mix of action figures, dolls, and miniature animals, and opened the book once more. As the magical words danced around them, the toys sprang to life each one animated with its own personality and quirks. The newly animated toys were eager for adventure, and together they formed a lively band of explorers. Misha, Peta, and their toy companions set off into the Whispering Woods, a place that promised mystery and enchantment at every turn. The woods were alive with the chatter of squirrels, the rustle of leaves, and the distant call of an owl. As they ventured deeper into the woods, they encountered a series of challenges. A mischievous wind swept through the trees, scattering the toys in all directions. Misha and Peta had to rally their friends, using teamwork and ingenuity to overcome each obstacle. The once scattered toys found their way back to each other, their bonds strengthened by the trials they faced together. However, the greatest challenge lay ahead. The group stumbled upon a shimmering lake, its surface reflecting the sky like a mirror. In the center of the lake stood a mysterious island, shrouded in mist. Legend had it that the island held the source of the book's magic, but it was guarded by a riddle-spinning spirit who tested the hearts of those who dared to seek it. Determined to uncover the truth, Misha and his companions set sail on a makeshift raft, their hearts filled with courage and curiosity. As they reached the island, the spirit appeared, its form shifting like smoke in the wind. It posed a riddle, challenging Misha's wits and the group's unity. Through clever thinking and the unwavering support of his friends, Misha solved the riddle, and the spirit rewarded them with a dazzling burst of light. The island's magic flowed into the book, ensuring that the enchantment would last forever. With hearts full of joy and a newfound understanding of the power of friendship, Misha, Peta, and the toys returned home, their adventure etched into their memories. Back in his cozy room, Misha placed the book on his shelf, knowing that it held endless possibilities for future adventures. As night fell, he and Peta snuggled under the covers, dreaming of the wonders that awaited them in the world where the impossible was just another day.